Greetings, I'm Tim Stringer from Learn OmniFocus, and I'm excited to give you a preview of some of the amazing new features and user interface enhancements that are coming with OmniFocus 3 for iOS. While I'll be focusing on the iPad, most of the new features I'll be showing you are also available on the iPhone. Keep in mind that this is a pre-release version of OmniFocus 3.0. The final release may look and act a little differently, but this will give you a good idea of what to expect and help you to prepare for the transition to OmniFocus 3. And here we are in OmniFocus 3. If you've used OmniFocus 2 for iOS, you'll feel right at home when you launch OmniFocus 3 for iOS for the first time. Let's start by looking at some of the visual enhancements. First of all, OmniFocus 3 feels right at home on iOS 11 and adopts many of the conventions that you'll see in Apple's own apps. For example, when I tap on Projects, you'll notice that the Projects header is in large readable type. This header is updated as I dig into folders and contexts, making it easy for me to keep track of where I am. You may have also noticed some new buttons on the toolbar. There's now a button that allows you to hide and show the side navigation panel. You also have the option of having this sidebar fixed in position as it is now, or if I tap on the pin button, I can keep it tucked away until I tap on the sidebar button again. I'll tap on the pin button to put it back into a fixed position. Next, I'll tap on the I button to reveal the inspector. As is the case with sidebar navigation, the inspector can occupy a fixed portion of the screen, or by tapping on the inspector's pin button, you can opt to have it slide in when you tap on a project group or action, and then slide out of the way when you're done making changes. I'll tap the pin again so that the inspector remains on screen, even when I'm not making changes. On a side note, if you're using your iPad in portrait mode, you're limited to two side panels, unless you happen to have a 12.9 inch iPad, in which case you can have both the navigation panel and the inspector on screen at the same time. Speaking of the inspector, let's take a look at how it's been enhanced in OmniFocus 3. By default, you'll only see a subset of the options you can customize using the inspector. To see the full list, tap on Show More. If there are settings that you use frequently, you can make them part of the default inspector by tapping on Customize Inspector, and then dragging them to the Always Show section. Since I make frequent use of defer dates, I'll drag the Defer Until item to the Always Show section. Note that the Customize Inspector feature allows you to customize the inspector for projects, groups, and actions. In practice, when you select a project group or action, you'll only see the inspector settings that apply to that type of item. I'll tap on Action to go back to the inspector, and we'll take a look at one of the most anticipated OmniFocus 3 features, multiple tags. In OmniFocus 2, you can apply a context to a project, group, or action. This allows you to specify a condition that needs to be present in order for you to complete this item. For example, there may be things that can only be done when you're at home, when you're with a specific person, or when you have an internet connection. A context might also be used to indicate how challenging something is, allowing you to distinguish an action that you can practically perform in your sleep from something that requires you to be in a focused state. OmniFocus 2 only allows you to specify one context. The problem is that not everything fits cleanly into one context. For example, maybe you have a deep focus activity that you need to do at home. You're forced to choose between assigning either a context of deep or a context of home, even though both might be equally valid. This restriction has been lifted in OmniFocus 3. Contexts are now called tags, and while a tag can represent a context, it can be used for other things as well. For example, you could apply the tag today for everything you want to get done today and vacation to everything you want to do before you go on vacation. To apply one or more tags, tap on the ellipsis button and add tags either by tapping on them or by typing the name of the tag. Let's add the tag today to this item that's already tagged with home. You can also tap and hold tags to rearrange them. Note that the first tag will appear in the context field in OmniFocus 2. This is important to understand if, for example, you're using OmniFocus 3 on iOS and OmniFocus 2 on your Mac. Now if I go to the tag perspective, I can tap on today to see a list of all the things that I'd like to get done today. If items in this list have more than one tag, I can quickly jump to other tags. For example, this action is tagged with both home and today. I can see everything that's tagged home simply by tapping on the home tag, then tapping go to. 
The repeat feature is also much more flexible in OmniFocus 3. Let's say they have a credit card bill that's due on the first Friday of each month. I'll start by setting the defer and due dates for the next payment. I'll set the due date to be the first Friday in April, which is April 6. And I'll set the defer date to March 23rd, which is two weeks before the due date. I'll then tap on Show More and Repeat, and we'll turn on Repeat for this action. I'll set the interval to be one month, and then I'll tap on Days of the Week and choose the first Friday. I'll then go back to the Main Inspector view by tapping on Action, and notice that the Repeat value has been updated to reflect the change that I just made. Now let's say that I just paid this credit card. I'll tap the completion circle, and a new action is automatically created with the due date of May 4th, which is the first Friday in May. And the defer date has automatically been set to two weeks prior. Notifications have also received a major upgrade in OmniFocus 3. Since our pay credit card task has a due date, it automatically has a notification. If I don't want to be notified when it's due, I can swipe from right to left and tap Delete. I'll leave this one as is because I do want to be notified if this action is still incomplete when the due date and time arrives. So that I'm not left scrambling at the last minute, I may also want to be notified a few days before this action becomes due. I can add another notification by tapping on Custom, and I'll be given two options, Before Due and Fixed. In this case, I'll tap on Before Due as I want to create a notification that's based on the due date and time. And I'll ask to be notified three days before the due date. OmniFocus 3 makes it very quick and convenient to configure this notification. I'll tap on plus two to specify two days, and plus one to make it three days. I'll then tap Save to save this notification. I can also add additional notifications. As a safeguard, I'll add a notification eight hours before the credit card payment is due. I'll tap on Custom once again, tap on Before Due, and then use the plus six and plus two buttons to specify eight hours. As before, I'll tap Save to save this notification. While this enhanced notification functionality is certainly a welcome addition, I encourage you to use this feature sparingly. If you get too many notifications, you might find that you tend to tune them all out. Also note that notifications aren't a substitute for regularly reviewing OmniFocus. It's these reviews that will ultimately help you build trust in the system. Another great time-saving feature that's been added to OmniFocus 3 is Multiple Item Select. Let's say I have a list of errands to run, and I've decided to defer most of them until the weekend. I'll tap on Edit to go into Multiple Select mode, and then select the items that I want to defer. I'll then change the Defer Until entry in the inspector to Saturday, and in doing so, change the defer dates of all of these items at once. This is much faster and more convenient than changing each one individually. Bulk Edit can also be used with any of the other inspector fields. For example, you might want to assign a specific tag to actions that you've selected. Another new feature in OmniFocus 3 is the ability to reorder actions within a tag. For example, I can reorder these errands by tapping and dragging. The forecast feature has also been enhanced in OmniFocus 3. Most notably, calendar events can now be displayed in line. In this example, there are a few appointments scheduled for the morning and a couple of actions that are due at noon. Notice that the tasks that are due in the morning appear before the afternoon's appointments. I hope that you've enjoyed this tour of OmniFocus 3 for iOS. I look forward to taking a deeper dive into these and other features in future articles, videos, and live sessions on Learn OmniFocus. I'm also updating our best practices to provide you with some guidance on how to, for example, make optimal use of multiple tags. To stay in the loop, subscribe to our mailing list at learnomnifocus.com forward slash mailing list. We'll also be posting updates on Facebook and Twitter. I also want to take a moment to thank the wonderful folks at the Omni Group for all the time and energy that they're putting into this release. I'm sure their efforts will help all of us be that much more organized and productive. This is Tim Stringer from Learn Omni Focus. Thanks for watching.